okay? I am not suicidal. I am innocent, and I am not suicidal. Right. Yeah. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years, and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you, and I respect the jury, but I did not do this, and I am not suicidal. If anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it to myself. After three years of jokes, mockery, and buffoonery, Juicy, I mean Jussie Smollett has finally been sentenced to 150 days in jail. You've turned your life upside down by your misconduct and shenanigans. You've destroyed your life as you knew it. And there's nothing that any sentencing judge could do to you that can compare to the damage you've already caused to yourself. Now, since the inception of his scheme, Jesse has expressed an array of opinions, actions, and attitudes that have all led to the conclusion that this nigga is out of his goddamn mind. From warning us about frauds, you know, something he'd probably be very familiar with, Jesse, warning us about frauds to tweeting happy birthday to MLK. You know, a real victim of racial injustice and racial violence in the United States of America. To then dropping a fucking music album. Juicy Smollett is a bold motherfucker. He's bold. The fact that he could drop a music album after everything he's done is actually pretty sad. Because it goes to show his acting days are done. No one's casting him. No one wants to be the studio that casted the guy that made a fake racism allegation out of nowhere. For no reason. Now people have asked, why did Jesse do this? What, what prompted him? What made this man want to go out of his way and come up with bullshit and say this and say that and lie about this and lie about that? Here's something y'all got to understand. Careers can launch off of shit like this. If Juicy hadn't been lying, y'all need to understand the level, the heights that his career would have reached had he been telling the truth. If he was telling the truth, Juicy would be backstroking and fucking money. Facts. You can't tell me that's not true. If he were telling the truth, he would be backstroking. The nigga would be deep diving in millions. He would be casted in every slavery movie after this. After this incident had been reported and it had been found true, he'd be casted in every civil rights movie, every slavery movie, every racism movie. Just he would be in every single one. Whenever diversity quotas needed to be met, hey Jesse, get your ass over here. They would literally, he would, he would, he would find no difficulty in fulfilling anyone's diversity quotas because the incident were true. But unfortunately, in this reality, the incident was false. And on a serious note, the man caused confusion and pain. America is a country that was founded on principles of freedom, liberty, and justice for all, and the idea that all men were created equal in the eyes of God and under the eyes of the law. But we all know that America only lived up to those ideals when it pertained to white men, not men who were black. And as a result, for a man like Jussie, a black man, to come out and fake such an act, to fake an incident such as this, when our ancestors wish that those things didn't really happen to them, wish that those things were make-believe, wish that those things were merely movie skits and movie scripts. For him to come out and fake it all, it caused pain and it incited anger. It made people feel unsafe. It made people feel untrustworthy. It made people feel like they couldn't trust anybody. It made certain people feel like they couldn't be trusted. It made people feel like there was something wrong with them. A lot of white people were trying to figure out what's going on. What's going on in our community that this is happening? What's going on with us to where this is what's going on? The black community 
was obviously hurt. We're sitting here like, how could this happen in 2022? Even with the Trump shit, you're telling us that an actor like Jussie Smollett is being attacked out here by niggas wearing MAGA hats, white men wearing MAGA hats. It caused confusion, anger, and pain. And the most disturbing thing about it is he continued to double down over and over and over again, insisting that this whole narrative was true. And we've already broken this down by we, I mean, black people, right? In particular, Dave Chappelle. None of these details added up at all. <laughs> he said he's walking down the street in Chicago and, and, and uh, white dudes come up to him and say, hey man, aren't you that faggot nigger from Empire? A, a fuck? Now, Dave Chappelle's breakdown is 100% accurate. Me personally, I didn't believe it for the same reason a lot of people didn't believe it. Why would two white men who wear MAGA hats that suck Trump's dick, why would they think you were a familiar face? Why would they walk outside at 2 a.m. in the morning in Chicago and recognize your gay black ass from Empire? Why? Come on, bruh. You see what I'm saying? So, but the majority of people believed him thought he was telling the truth. His actions have made it harder for people of color who probably are in positions of prominence, who are being mistreated, who are being hurt verbally or maybe even physically on the basis of their race, they might feel fear in coming out now and making their stories heard thanks to Jussie. And this man has the audacity to drop a fucking album to drop a music album. What the fuck is wrong with him that he thinks he can drop an album after what he did? Lord only knows what's wrong with this dude. Lord only knows. Now, his family is complaining about what happened to him, among other people. I have something I wanna say quickly. Your name, ma'am? My name is Jazz Smollett, I'm his older sister. First of all, I wanna say my brother is innocent. My brother, Jesse, is innocent. This should not be a controversial statement because it is the- This man's family, for some reason, really believes that this man somehow or another is being treated unfairly for what he did. 150 days in jail is a slap on the wrist. He owes 120,000 in damages. He will be just fine. Jesse Smollett, there's something wrong with him mentally. And one thing I want to applaud the black community for, I want to applaud us for handling this very well. A lot of us saw this a mile away. We knew that this wasn't what he was making it seem like a mile away. And we let it play out. White boys in MAGA hats recognizing you from Empire. Niggas, stop. Stop. We see right through you. But we decided to stand by him with our silence and we let him dig his own grave. But the issue with people coming out and defending Jussie Smollett is this. Jussie Smollett made it harder for people who are genuine victims of hate crimes to come out and make their voices heard and be taken seriously because he wanted to play the victim. And to this very moment, he continues to play the victim even in the face of having been found guilty. In this day and age, if we truly want to step into a new world where people can be forgiven for their past mistakes, we first have to accept the fact that when we mess up, which most of us will never mess up like Josie, but let's just say we were to, the right thing to do would be to say, hey y'all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about making things up. I'm sorry about lying. I'm sorry about everything. I'm not asking for your forgiveness, but I want you guys to know I apologize and I will repay the state and the taxpayers in the best way that I can for taking attention away from things that needed to be had attention paid to it. I'm going to repay you guys for that lack of attention that should have been going to things that actually matter outside of my ridiculous racism fantasy that I made up in my mind to garner attention. 
And it also speaks to this new era that we're in, where people are so hungry and so desperate for attention that they will literally disrespect the pain and struggles of their ancestors by making up a story about racial discrimination and violence to where you feel so comfortable in Chicago as a black man that you think you can just make up a story about MAGA boys attacking you and you think you're going to get away with it. You genuinely believe that you're going to walk scot-free from this and you can't be touched. We live in an era of disgusting attention seeking and I wonder how far will it continue to go? How far will it continue to go? How far? This has to stop. The attention seeking, the sickness of people has to stop. The dude's good looking. The guy's an actor, co-signed by Taraj P. Henson. I believe that's how you say her last name. I probably butchered the last name. He's co-signed by some top actors in the black community. You were on Empire. You could have been on Power. You could have been in I don't even like these shows. I wish they were never on air, but you could have been on Power. You could have been, I'm pretty sure Raising Canaan is a sub show of Power. You could have been on any one of those shows. You could have taken your acting empire further, but you squandered that, you destroyed that by playing the damn fool. Trying to be MLK, which you are not. Dude out here retweeting MLK like you didn't just fake a whole race incident. The seeking of attention and the buffoonery has to come to a close. It just has to stop.